Hello, everyone. Welcome to John Baxter Live. I have a fantastic show set up for you today. I've got a lady named Carrie Kasem. She's a multinational star. She fights for elderly abuse. Um, she's got a new product coming out. And I there's just so many amazing things about this lady that uh, it should blow your mind. You know, I'm an advocate at speaking out. She definitely uh, is someone I look up to. And, um, you know, but before we get carry on, and she is here, uh, let me cover some introductions. One, thank you for Anti-Aging Vet, our lead sponsor. Uh, we've helped a lot of people all over the world with health problems, sleep problems, frequency issues, and PPN Network. PPN is one of the last broadcasts for uncensored networks in the world. So thank you, PPN. And thank you guys all at home for joining in and watching this important interview. And we've got some amazing stuff coming down in December. If you aren't a part of our affiliate program and anti-aging bed, we have an amazing uh, wellness resort for those that are a part of our uh, affiliate network. You know, this is something that is a privileged honor to go to and uh, we look forward to seeing a bunch of you guys here. We've got uh, some stars there. We've got a lot of people that you guys know, like Charlie Ward, uh, Nicholas Vienemann, Carrie Kasem's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Uh, also, we have an A4M, is an American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. We did the show probably six or seven, eight times now. Uh, it's in Vegas, and that is December 9th through the 11th. So check us out if you're in Vegas, it's at the Venetian and uh, you basically have to be a doctor to get in. So if you're a doctor, uh, this is an event you can go to. All the latest uh, breaking news, information, technology is gonna be there. And again, there's a launch of a product uh, that will be talked about on this podcast that we'll have there. And uh, of course, this is, Black Friday weekend. Check out Anti-Aging Bed. Literally, it doesn't get better than this. This is the last week. There's inventory liquidation. And uh, if you're going to look for a deal, a gift for someone important, you definitely want to check it out. It's actually 15% off uh, site-wide. So if you're looking for an important gift, look no further than the number one bed cover in the world, uh, 2021 and 2022. Worldwide, this is one of the best gifts you can give because you sleep your way to health. So without much more, I'm going to introduce Carrie Kaysen. How are you doing, Carrie? I am great. Thank you for having me on. Well, um, this is a real uh, treat to have you on. Thank you for uh, joining this podcast. And uh, one of the things I was just going to check up on is just how you're doing and what have you been up to? Well, wow, that's, that's a load of questions, a lot. Uh, so I've been, you know, a, a top radio host, been on air for 25 years. And this is the first year I made a departure from live radio and went into um, audible podcasting. So I was one of the first podcasters. I did a podcast. I know you know this. Um, when nobody knew what podcast was, they didn't know the name. They had no idea what I was doing. It was pretty popular and I, I should have kept it because if I would have kept going, uh, you know, it's podcasting has become the biggest thing, but, uh, I'm back into podcasting again. I did a, a very successful podcast called bitter blood, uh, on audible. And it talks about my whole family saga about not being able to see my dad and what happened. And, you know, we didn't get to trial. Unfortunately, that was not up to me. But uh, you hear all the depositions, you would have heard what it sounded like if we had gone to trial and what really happened to my family and why I got into being an anti-elder abuse advocate. And I've been doing that for nine years now with um, Kaysom Cares, my nonprofit, and my amazing team there. We've passed um, bills in 22 states, and uh, that curbs elder abuse and isolation. And so... We actually did 12 uh, states personally with my team, and we went all over the United States lobbying for better and, and um, stricter laws that stop elder abuse. But uh, yeah, nine other states adopted a version of the Case and Cares uh, Visitation Bill. So I'm very proud of that. And that took, you know, the last 
COVID unfortunately slowed that way down, but um, you know, that took five, six years of my life doing that. And I still stayed on air with my radio shows. Um, and, and now I'm, I'm here. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm doing my anti-aging line. I'm, I've gotten into health. I had Lyme disease for 11 years and I didn't know what it was. So I kept getting all these treatments that would make things better. And then they wouldn't be better again. And I'd crash really hard in the last three years. I've, I've cured it. And I, you know, you're not supposed to say you've cured something, but um, I, I healed from Lyme disease. And uh, Carrie, I, can you uh, break down your, your story of how you got here? I know, you know, um, I've seen you on doing interviews on the red carpet. I've seen you on the elderly uh, elder care, um, all the amazing stuff, speaking out, fighting for us, everyone. Right. And yeah. that was, uh, that looked very rewarding and needed and necessary. But um, also, you know, you have uh, your own story, if you could elaborate and how you got here. Okay, so um, how I got to this point in my life was uh, back in 2007, I was doing a radio show in Las Vegas, live radio, early morning shows up at 3.30 every morning, um, on air by five, off air by nine, got a flight on Friday to continue my radio shows in Los Angeles. So I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Los Angeles, caught a night flight back on Sunday and started the whole week again. I did that for a while. And I, when I was there, I got a tetanus shot. And after that tetanus shot, my health just went downhill. After I, I got immediately sick after the shot, I had to actually have somebody pick me up out of bed and take me to urgent care. And, uh, and after that, it's like every year, progressively, my health got worse. And I didn't know what it was. And I tried every single treatment from, you know, they told me I had autoimmune disease. I had lupus. I went to UCLA and got every test done. And I had a high ANA count, anti-nuclear antibody, meaning my body was attacking itself somewhere, but they couldn't figure out what or why. Then I, you know, I had exhaustion, heavy, heavy exhaustion to where at three o'clock on the dot, all I wanted to do was be in bed. I was done. I could make, make it to three and without energy drinks, I, I was that was it for me. And um, it got progressively worse and worse. I could handle the exhaustion for a while, um, but then the pain started coming in my joints and my hips and my hands and and uh, I, my hair started falling out. Like I tried everything from hormone replacement to, I mean, I just, when you, it runs the gamut, when, you, when you're sick and you don't know what it is, like antibiotics, which, you know, I knew that I, antibiotics were no good for you. So I tried them for a little bit, that didn't work. Um, so many different things, so many different things. I, 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 it was, it was like, try this, try that vitamin deficiencies, this and that. And I did have vitamin deficiencies and I got those better and I got off of sugar and I got off of, um, gluten. And I still, I still have that diet. It was very strict, um, vegan slash vegetarian diet that, you know, I've been on since I was 12, but I even got stricter and got, got my diet really, uh, in order on, and everything would help a little bit. And then I would crash again. So then finally, about three and a half, four years ago, I was diagnosed with five strains of Lyme disease. So I knew what it was. And that's where my health journey started. So three years ago, I started, maybe three and a half years ago, I started uh, doing oxygen baths from uh, Hungary. They're, they're called cocoon, K-A-Q-U-N. It's liquid oxygen that you lay in. It looks just like a bathtub, feels like bath water, but it's pressurized oxygen. And I did that on and off for a year and it made me about 70% better. I really like the pain went away. My memory came back, the rashes stopped. Um, I, I felt a lot better, but I wasn't completely, maybe if I'd done another year of it, it would have completely healed me. But I went, I met somebody there who had Lyme disease, horrifically, he was in a wheelchair. And he said, look, I went and I did biomagnetics. So I found the lady that he used and luckily she was in California, not in Nevada because the cocoon baths are in Nevada and downtown Los Angeles, but I was in Nevada at the time. And he said, it's in, it's in, it's near Los Angeles. So I did six to eight months of biomagnetics once a week. And within the six to eight month mark, I was completely healed. I haven't relapsed since I have felt amazing. I've never felt so good in my life. Um, and that's when I decided uh, I know you see me on Instagram. We've been friends for years and years, John. So you see what I've, I've been up to. And it's like, I decided once I got my life back and once the pain stopped and literally like 
I felt like I had a new lease on life. It felt like I was reborn again. That's how I was living in a very old body. I felt like I had arthritis all over my body. Once all that pain went away. And once I was like, I am now going to be grateful for every day. And I'm going to exercise and keep my body healthy because I can now. I decided to do everything I've ever, ever wanted to do. And um, so it, it's just been, it's been a whirlwind of a ride for me. And I'm so grateful every day that I wake up and I feel good in my body. And I've been able to do so many things that I couldn't when I was sick. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm, you know, I'm doing the anti-aging company, Faceum. Um, I've, I've, you know, created several TV shows. I'm shooting them. Uh, I am starting back on a couple of, of radio shows and a podcast. So I'm just making myself busy again, really busy That's again. And so beautiful. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy. And I'm going to share on one of my podcasts. It's going to be a lime and rock and roll podcast. And it sounds crazy, but it's with this girl, um, Gabrielle Gun, uh, Gunchikova, uh, Gabby Gunn or Gigi Gunn. And she's, she's famous over in, in Europe and she's an incredible rock singer and she's got lime. So we're going to talk about lime and we're going to talk about music and we're going to make it fun, but we want to help people with, with, you know, what we went through. And it's, it's very hard to diagnose and it's very hard when you tell people, you have Lyme disease and you look completely fine, but inside you're literally, you feel like you're dying. Um, and we wanna, we wanna help people. And then you come along and you wanna, you know, team up with me on my anti-aging line, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna tell everybody, I'm 50 years old and most people never guess my age. And I'm, you know, giving away all of mine out. I, I don't like to say secrets because I don't ever keep this a secret. I don't ever lie about what I do to my face, what I put in my face, what I take, what I tell the truth about everything. And the first thing I started out with in my 20s was an anti-aging cream. It was a vitamin C cream with all these, you know, hydrating, just, it was a beautiful cream. I loved it. And I've now taken that, what I loved and made it so much better. Cause now, you know, through the years, through the 30 years, I've learned what works, what doesn't work. Uh, you know, what aging skin, what's great on aging skin and still, you know, still you can use it on, on if you're young, what causes collagen to grow, uh, what it just, what brightens the skin, what tightens the skin. And I put every ingredient and more that I know about into this cream. It's called the one, because it's the only one you're going to need, literally the oh, only wow. one. Need. Yeah. So I'm really proud of it. I've been using it for months now. I've had my friends using it. I've changed it a little bit here and there. I've like taken some ingredients out, added some more ingredients. Um, and there's some ingredients in there that people don't use. And when I talk about what's in them, people go, what, what? Like serotonin. Serotonin is amazing for the skin, amazing for the skin. So not only is vitamin C and then all my hydrating ingredients are beautiful and they're healthy and they're good for you could eat it and you, you wouldn't get sick <laughs> i don't don't suggest that i'm saying it's that it's that healthy um so i'm 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 really excited about it. i know you used it you tried it you said your skin felt really nice yeah it softened up and tightened up like at the same time so you know as a someone who doesn't put anything on his face it was it was working instantly it looked like fresh blood was coming to my face yep so it's uh, just amazing how uh, you don't do anything that appears to be small. And when you came out with this line, I was uh, totally interested because I know you've been working on anti-aging for a long time. And uh, catch me if I'm wrong here, uh, through your pain to purpose story, you became a researcher, you took health into your own hands. And even knowing the ingredients and bringing it all together, it comes from a lot of years of trial and error. And uh, when the when the established um, medical system uh, had tried to help you, it it left you in an area where you had to fend for yourself. And I'm just um, uh, grateful that you're sh sharing your story because at the end, more people need to know that people are taking health into their own hands. Of course, me with the broken neck, I created my own technology, very similar to what you're doing, and. Yep. Uh, and of course, anti-aging cream and anti-aging bed, nighttime, daytime, you know, it all works together. It's regenerative. So, you know, with uh, this cream that you're launching, you know, can you give us uh, 
some more information on like how people can get it and yes uh, well actually we're going to stick a link down on uh you know wherever you post this and it is going to be definitely we're going to give you some great deals some discounts for the holidays things like that and i know that um it's going to be we're going to find it on your site you can also look up facem f-a-c-e-m it's facem by casem and it's a double meeting because for me, like I face everything. I face my fears. I face whatever comes at me, but I'm also, you know, into like my, my face and, and, and anti-aging and making it look good. And I, you know, there's some people who want to age gracefully I, all the power to you. I always say you're stronger than I am. I'm fighting it all the way. And I'm not afraid to say it, you know, I'm not afraid to say I use Botox, fillers, threads, lasers skin tightening machines. And I know what works for certain skin types, what doesn't work for other skin types. You know, I know what lasers work to help the body, you know, to, um, to detox you when you, you know, to lose weight, to help you lose weight. If you're, if you need that, I have done everything. And when something comes out, I'm the first to read about it. I want to know about it. Sometimes I'll, I'll go in and be like, Hey, use me as a guinea pig. If I think it's the right thing, others, I let go for it. I'm like, okay, I want to see what this laser does to people in the next year. What are the side effects? What are, and then there's some that just sounds so great. And maybe it's older technology that's been new. And I will be like, I'll be the first one. Try it on me. So I just, I love it. It's, it was a hobby of mine, anti-aging. And now I'm making it my business and helping other people with it. Um, as, as well as being, it's like healthy from the inside out. You know, you can look, your skin, you know, will look better when your body is healthy, when you're eating correctly, when your gut is healthy. And I, I cannot tell you how many times I see people that, you know, they've got acne or the skin problems and I ask them what they're eating. And it's like everything in the world that's going to, you know, make you toxic. And that's why it's coming out in your skin or it's, it's, it's um, messing with your hormones because there's too much sugar or you're, you're eating tons of soy or there's food allergies. So I've, I've done this all myself coming from a, a very unhealthy body to a healthy body and healthy skin um, and a healthier way of looking at life as well. Because when you're in pain and you're sick all the time, it's hard to be positive. But um, look, I don't know anyone riding horses, helicopters and doing motorcycles at 50 at a high level, you know, and yeah. also from there uh, on the flip side, you're not just a pretty face. Um, of course, the face them helps, right? But yeah. uh, all this stuff that you do, it, it appears that you invest when you do something, you invest everything into it. And uh, it's just beautiful that you came out with this. But could you go over some of your regimen? Like, you know, uh, how are you getting these levels? I mean, you talked about other stuff, but like the simplicity of people at home, like the diet, the when you sleep or how much you sleep and, and all sure. that. Sure. Sure. So after I, I, you know, got healed from Lyme disease, I had all this energy and it was definitely due to my diet, due to the vitamins I was taking, uh, the biomagnetics, the oxygen water. I just was left feeling so good. And I wanted to share that with people. And I did, I did videos while I was healing. I did videos actually in the bathtub talking about what it was, videos about the magnets and, and how biomagnets helped me. Um, so I wanted I wanted to share that and I and I and I do I think some of them are still on my on my site on on um, my Instagram but unfortunately uh, Facebook let a hacker take over my public page where I had all my videos up of everything and they haven't given back to me so if anybody if you're out there and you know how to get a Facebook page back because I've paid somebody I've done everything talk to them nobody they they will not give me my page back but anyways all my videos were on there which was a bummer I didn't I don't think many of them were on YouTube I should have done that. But I just, I wanted to share that. So what is a very simple diet, and it, I can go into it in depth, but one thing I say when, when people ask me, what do you do? It's called the no white diet, the no white diet. And it's very simple to follow. That means no sugar, no soy, no gluten, right? And gluten doesn't have to be white. It's not like white bread, but flour is white and you make bread from that. There are gluten-free products now that you cannot tell the difference, especially if you want a pasta, if you want bread, they now make gluten-free everything. And it, what it does is people are like, I don't have a gluten allergy. That doesn't pertain to me. Gluten causes inflammation in the body. 
in your brain everywhere, right? We have, there's so much GMO and so much messing with the food that we eat that it's not what it used to be before. We used to have tons of vitamin E in it, right? It was good for your heart. It was good. There were lots of things it wasn't messed with. Now we've over farmed. If it's not GMO, you're looking at farmland that's been used for over a hundred years over and over and over again. And there's not as many minerals. There's not the vitamins that we need. So you're eating just a, a carb without any kind of nutrients in it. It also, it, it's inflaming people. It's getting people inflamed. And inflammation is the first thing to do that, that starts disease. What does inflammation do? It takes oxygen out of your cells. What is that called? Hypoxia. Gary Brecka, who I work with and, and who's, who's amazing, um, he said, he said uh, and work with me, I've, I've sent him so many of my friends, so many of my people. I know that Dana White, uh, who runs the UFC, is a dear friend of mine. I turned him on to Gary Brecken and, Gary, and now Dana can't stop talking about him saying he's basically saved his life, which he did. And, uh, and it feels like a million dollars. So he talks about high, being hypoxic and every single person on earth who dies, dies of hypoxia. It doesn't matter if it's a disease or a gunshot wound. You're not getting enough oxygen to your heart and your brain, right? So you die. So I was severely hypoxic. I didn't have enough oxygen in my cells, especially when you have Lyme disease. It just kind of like takes over your body. Exhaustion sets in, sickness sets in. Well, when you're inflamed, same thing. What does inflammation do? It takes oxygen out of your body. So I say no white diet. If you can do that, if you can do no sugar, and, and, and you know what, when you get off the sugar, don't do all the fake sugar, don't do the aspartame, don't do the, the stuff that's gonna you know, put more inflammation and sickness back in you. If you have to do something, do, um, you could, there's so many different healthier ways uh, like uh, stevia, monk fruit. Um, there's a few other really healthier, healthier alternatives to sugar that, that don't give you side effects that are horrific. So, you know, when, when I was, I had, a, I was drinking soda all the time, I stopped that and, um, I just started doing, and now I, now I'm off of pretty much everything except the Zevia once in a while. Zevia, check it out. They, it's a company that copies every single type of soda out there, every flavor, but it's made with Stevia. I've got so many people hooked on it now is it's the way to go. But what I did before that came out was I would just take seltzer water, like, um, club soda or sparkling water. And I would put um, uh, a packet of electrolytes in it and I would drink that and that kind of suffice. And, and it, it was a, it was much better than, than drinking soda. So you can always find a healthier alternative. I'm going to be talking about that on my health podcast too. Um, but that's kind of what, what I did was I always found a healthier alternative to something. And, and then till I got, till I could get wean off that instead of stopping everything cold turkey. Uh, but I stopped sugar and that was the hardest thing. It's so addictive. It's more addicting, they say, than heroin. Um, and it's it's in everything. If you were to look at the food you're buying, which you think is healthy, look at the ingredients. Most of the time it has sugar in it. It's addictive. There's a reason why these food companies keep putting sugar in everything. And uh, I say, please, 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 please. If you're having a hard time losing weight, you're having a hard time with your health, you, you don't feel well, you, you know, it affects your moods. You're up and down with your moods constantly. Check your diet, check your gut health. It's so important. Thank you so much. No white anything, guys. I remember it. And if you want something different than sugar, get some honey, okay? Yeah, that's better for you, but, but it still will spike your glycemic index. So it is better. So if you want to do like Manuka honey, which costs a fortune, it's great. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. But if you're like a sugar freak, um, even agave spikes your glycemic index. So you want something that doesn't do that, that doesn't make your body go up and down, up and down. So that, that definitely the, the monk fruit and the stevia, there's one more that I use and I'm blanking on it. Um, wow, but, uh, but those, those are really good. Those are really good. So you brought up, uh, you know, food, you know, our food uses petroleum-based fertilizers as the nutrients, right? So we're eating something that we make plastic out of. So there's nothing in our food. And, you know, I've been running towards saving bees forever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I talked about the GMOs and, you know, they censored me for talking about GMOs and pesticides. You've been censored and you know how it is. It just is a terrible fiasco because the people that need to speak out the most get their voice censored, right? 
same thing happened with, uh, you know, you talked about bitter blood and uh, a lot of the information as a star, you know, uh, you reaching out and advocating, you know, uh, you know, this was so important to you. Um, you lost your father in the process. And, um, you know, if you could allow people to know what this this term elder abuse means and you know i saw stuff it even even correlated britney spears somehow i remember watching that and how what is that how does it work and what should we know i mean there's so many different facets of elder abuse it can be sexual abuse it can be financial abuse it can be um physical abuse and, and the abuse that I, I mainly deal with is isolation and guardianship abuse. So isolating someone, uh, when you isolate, whether it's um, domestic violence or child abuse, you isolate them and that way you know, nobody knows what you're really doing to them. And that's, you see that a lot in the elderly. They will stop family members. Uh, and when I say they, it could be a family member, it could be uh, a lawyer, it could be a caretaker, it could be somebody with the power of attorney or uh, guardianship or conservatorship, these um, people that mostly are in it for money will stop visitation because then they'll see, oh, they're being over-medicated, they're unhappy. They're, you know, when you, when, you, when you see that, you then call the authorities. And so the abusers don't want you to see that because they're over-drugging um, mom or dad and they're stealing the estate. And it could, the estate could be literally, maybe they're getting a check every month from the government and they're just, they're cashing it and putting it in their bank account, or it could be a lot of money. It could be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But you see these people come in, these criminals, uh, and and do that, and they'll stop family members from seeing mom or dad. And people say, "Oh, I just knocked I knocked down that door, and I nobody would stop me from seeing mom or dad." Well, you would be arrested and trespassed. That's how that's how it is. There's there's once you turn eighteen in this country, you have no right to see mom or dad. Uh, if there's an uncooperative caretaker. So that happens a lot. And that's what happened to Brittany. Brittany was stuck in a conservatorship slash guardianship uh, and all of her rights were taken away. Once you get put in a guardianship, a dog has more rights than you. You, uh, That person who puts you in the guardianship then becomes you, has your bank accounts, has everything, is supposed to be your spokesperson, but they become their spokesperson and how to get as much money and fleece as much money and hurt the family as much as possible. Not all guardians are bad, not all conservative ships are bad, but um, unfortunately you see this coming from the family. You see a lot of family infighting and this is what happens. Mom or dad, uh, grandma or grandpa gets isolated and they die alone, they die scared, they die in pain. And uh, you know, my bill aims to stop a lot of that. Um, so that's what happened to my dad. He was, unfortunately his wife decided in his, what was gonna be his last year of life. It wouldn't have been if this didn't happen, but she she literally and figuratively shut the gates to the house so we couldn't get in. And that's just house. destructive behavior for the children. That And your father, of course, Casey Kasem, America's DJ of all time, you know, you can't even see your father and he's well known and, you know, uh, the, the laws kept you in, and I'm just so sorry that you had to go through that experience, the, the pain of all that. And on the flip side, it, feel, it appears that it was uh, your purpose and calling to make sure this never, ever, ever happens again. That's right. That's right. And anybody who wants to hear the story, you won't believe it. It's like, a, unfortunately for me, you know, people said, it's like, it's salacious. I'm like, no, it's, it's, it's true crime. Like what happened to my dad? There are things where people can't believe that that was allowed, that that was legal, that that she did this. I mean, it was a it's a true crime story, and that's you will hear it on Audible, Bitter Blood, if you you listen to it. And um, yeah, it 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 was my only, I guess you could say, it was the cathartic for me to tell the story and what really happened because you hear it on the news and you hear stuff that's true or not true and and you know you hear one side of it from my stepmother and then one side of it from us kids but what was the one thing that worked in our favor was that all of my dad's friends and family every single one of them came to our side and said look this woman has been abusive this woman has been cruel this isn't the kids. She's done it to me. She's done it to his coworkers. It was everyone. She kept everyone away from him. 
not just us kids. So that was, there was some comfort there. And um, it was hard to go through though, listening to, you know, horrible things being said about you, lies being said about you. And you're like, wait a second. So every time my son would lie in court about, oh, we're stealing money. Oh, we're taking money from my dad. Oh, we're drug addicts over oh, this and this. Every single time she said something horrible, I came with information that was exact opposite. And it was facts. She would just, unfortunately, just spout off lies, which is hearsay, and have no fact to back it up. No facts to back it up. We come with facts. And we got her every single time, every single time. And that's why I won over a wife of 34 years. Like my first two lawyers told me I'd never win anything. And I fired them. And I got somebody else. And I won everything because I knew who she was and I knew what she was and I knew all the lies she told. And as long as I had somebody who was gonna be persistent and keep going with me, I would prove her wrong every single time. And that's what I did. And I won guardianship over my dad, which was almost impossible to do. And now 22 states have a bill because of this and your hard work. And I bet your father is super proud just saying thank you, right? So. That's awesome. And uh, so proud of you that you were able to go through uh, something that was uh, devastating and flip back out the other side and do something so purposeful for us. And uh, I was going to say on the flip side of, you know, this, um, you know, I think, you know, with everything going on, uh, how does the future look? It's so bright. I got to wear shades. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's I just, yeah I'm just putting it out there that I'm in my future is going to be amazing because like I said when you get healthy and when I prove to myself that nothing can stop me nothing I with with that case and with fighting for my dad where everybody told me I would never win I could never do it and I'm like watch me and I was sick going through this. I was tired going through this. I still want everything. Like I know who I am inside. I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. And I can't stand injustice. And if there's injustice, I'm gonna I'm gonna be on your team. I'm gonna fight it. And that's what I have done. And and I and I love that. And some of my TV shows that I'm doing right now that deal with that, um, that deal with injustice, where I'm going after like people who are just criminals. So that makes me, it makes I'd me on your show. I'm fighting the billion dollar company still. Like exactly. I know. I, I wish I could have gotten in there and done something for you. I'm done. Like, leave me alone. Like this is unfair. It's unjust. It I get you. I get you completely. And, um, you know, this, uh, has been an awesome, uh, talk with you, Carrie. I want to get you on possibly again. Absolutely. Anytime, John, anytime we're Thank partners. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's awesome. I uh maybe I'm a little starstruck. So no, you're not uh, yeah, you're awesome. yeah, we've known each other like going on five years. What do you Yeah, talking? but yeah, but you know, it is, you know, it it's awesome. You're awesome. So thank, thank you. Thank you for believing in me, you know, and thank you for for always you you are probably one of the most persistent people I've ever met in my life. And not only persistent in like making me a friend and a contact, but with, with your inventions and your line and your, your lawsuit, you never, ever stopped. Do you know how many people would stop with all the pressure you were under? So most people, everyone most I'm people. alive still. I'm yeah, alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Nothing scares me. Not even. Yeah. Death. Yep. Right. Same, same, same. That's why I fly helicopters. You know, they're like, aren't you scared? It's not like, what about how, what happened to Kobe? I'm like, well, if it happens, it happens, right? Like, I, I don't care anymore. I'm not going to be afraid of anything. I'm going to live my life to the fullest, you know? So I'm doing everything. I'm riding my motorcycle. I'm learning stunts. I'm skydiving again. I'm, you know, flying helicopters. I'm going to get my fixed wing as well. That's an airplane. I'm going to do everything that I thought I couldn't and everything that I didn't do because it's never too late to be who you could have been. And if you're listening to this, and you know, you're, there's something you want. There's a dream that you haven't made come true. Do it now. You never know how much time you have. You never know when your when your health could be taken from you. So do it now. Do it now. Yeah, I remember seeing um, you were on Grant Cardone's 10x, and you talked about facing your fears. I really remembered that. You know, all the stuff I went through. Um, literally, I'm probably not the guy to even do a podcast, right? 
So, you know, Why, anybody can do a podcast. Anybody. Right. You know what? Right. It's, it's all mental. Though. Yes. 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 It is. Definitely all mental. Face your fears because what else is there to face? Like, right. you want to, you know, waste some time. You're on the earth for a reason and a purpose. You might as well just go ahead and, and say, screw it. Yep. I agree. Totally agree. High five on that. High five. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I think with uh, everything going on, definitely um, we'll join to do another show. And um, thank you so much, Carrie Kasem, for joining the show today. Thank you. Well, thank you, everyone. There'll be more shows popping up. Ch uh, catch them on thepatriotpartynews.com. You guys have a wonderful